So we all know there are light entities indoors. Guiding light, curious light, and mischievous light. But did you know about wisdom light? Okay, I'm just kidding. But why are they here and what is their purpose? <laughs> the first thing I wanted to talk about before we get into the video is this painting and its significance. With curious light being in the center and huge, while guiding light and red is very small. And they're in the corners of the picture, but why? Okay, now let's talk about guiding light, who basically guides you in the game. Whether it be where the next door lies, or where key items are, like keys and bulbs for generators. Guiding Light is a friendly entity that helps the player through both the hotel and the mines. I want to also mention Guiding Light gives helpful messages to the players when they die to an entity. Take me dying to Rush, for example. Guiding Light says, It seems you are having trouble with Rush. The lights will flicker when it is near. Whenever this happens, find a hiding spot. I think this is very helpful advice given from Guiding Light, so take note of that. Anyway, I also wanted to say that the crucifix and possessed candle are powered by Guiding Light. Now Guiding Light will also trap entities from going any further, and what I mean by this is larger entities like Figure, Grumble, and Seat, who could still technically chase us if Guiding Light hadn't sealed the door behind us. Guiding Light wants to keep us from dying. As seen in the mines where during Seek's first chase, Guiding Light summons a minecart to stop the player from falling to their death. and. During the seek chase, it also guides us as well. It also pushes over a lamp in the library to save the player from figure after they open the door to the library. When you try to go to rooms with items related to guiding light, the items do not work, stating that they feel lighter than usual. Why do you guys think this happens? So overall, Guiding Light is a good entity that wants to help the player. Next up is Curious Light, and I'm a little torn on what its main objectives are. Like Guiding Light, Curious wants to sorta of help the player, but not too much. Take this example. I died to haste three times in a row to see what Curious Light had to say. The back door is a very old place, no older than the hotel, but still old. Somewhat forgotten, too. Some parts seem to be missing entirely, so this is a little bit of backstory. Anyways, what got you this time? Hmm. It looks like you ran out of time. You must make haste. Oh, let's call that one haste. Maybe try a little harder next time. You'll be back soon. See you then. It seems to me that Curious Light came up with haste on the spot and didn't actually know what the entity's name was, and gave us the advice of trying harder. That is not very helpful. The second death went like this. Dead again. Okay, so already it seems like Curious Light is kind of annoyed with us. And then Curious goes on to, to say, what got you this time? Hmm. Looks like you ran out of time. You ran out of time and died to haste. I've given you a method to add more time to the clock. You're welcome. Maybe try a little harder next time. You'll be back. See you then. Before I talk more about Curious Light, when we go to the mines, the generators have three different colored bulbs, blue, yellow, and red, which refers to the three lights indoors. Do you guys think they know about one another or work with each other? Take this line from Curious Light, for example, when I died to Blitz. So, you found another one of these places. I'm sure you remember me. 
Let's see what you died to. Oh, one of my favorites. She said we should call that one Blitz. Who do you guys think Curious Light is referring to? And do you think Guiding Light and Curious Light may be working together to make sure the player doesn't become a victim to Red Light? And speaking of Red Light, on to our last light indoors. Red Light or Mischievous Light, which has the same symbol as the modifier. Not much is known about Red Light, but here are some things to think about. When you use a crucifix on major entities like Seek, Figure, or Grumble, it'll glow blue, but then turn red, and they'll break free. I think red light may be helping the entities, and red light stops Guiding Light from banishing these major entities. I also feel like you can see red light when we do the Seek chases. What do you guys think? Red Light also hates cheaters and will block your path if you use modifiers and try to go to rooms. So overall, it seems Red Light is trying to stop the player from advancing in the game. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and as always, take care, and I will see you guys in the next video.